I'm sure some people will see that topic, you know, that this, this video's title and they'll be like, Hey, Chimo, where is this person that is what that wants to blaspheme? Where is she coming from? <laughs> so today I'll be sharing my experience about how this prayer, God will help me, almost put me in trouble, you know. In fact, it's I was in the trouble like this. It was God that I had previously prayed to help me. That eventually took me out from that trouble. Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Christiana and this is Christie's Pause. The abundant life that God has promised us. Everything you need, find it here. So welcome back to my channel where God is helping each and every one of us to be amazing and awesome. Welcome. So today eh, I'll be talking about how the Christian of nowadays, you have turned that prayer, God will help me to something else. Like even God is wondering, uh -uh, am I the one that will help you in this one too? <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to it so let me share my experience with you let's get to that my experience i wanted to share with you so this happened to me when, when i was in um the university i was in my hundred level you know this jambito that just resumed <laughs> i just resumed to school and it's just like you know all over the place i was actually all over the place you know every program i was there every program invite me for any church program yes <laughs> you know did you hear what I said? Invite me for every church program. I was there praying, praising, doing all sorts of things. And I was in those programs. I also go for classes. So, as much as I was going to those programs, I was also, you know, going for classes, going for lectures and all. So, I was only a lazy student, though. But something that was where I got it all wrong, or where I almost, you know, spelt the name of God. Yes, I will say it is spoiling the name of God. <laughs> The most part the name of God was this point where, you know, as a student, you should know your abilities and all that. My abilities was not, you know, I was not an, um, you know, all those um, geniuses that could just sit, go for classes and have their A's. Mm -mm, I was not part of them. <laughs> so, I still had to study my books to get a B or a C <laughs> sometimes. So, I was um, going for classes, going for all the programs, and I was asking God to help me. I am I, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure what I was asking. <laughs> what I was asking him to help me with, I was not reading my books. That's just the plain fact. I wasn't reading, I wasn't studying. So when it comes to exam time, and my school then, we used to have um there's something we called um one week lecture free week one re um, lecture free week and in that one week um what you're expected to do is just prepare you know get your notes ready just prepare for your exams the exams are starting one week so there's no lectures you just you know there's a week free then the next week you start your exam so that lecture free week me i'll just be doing you know visiting friends and all that in fact i'm sure it will, it will have gotten to a point my friends who some of my friends will have felt ah this girl ah, ah. what was what's her plan andre remember i was in andre level so um it was like that the exam or i'll just say ah oh, god help me god help me and that was my prayer you know during the exams i just say god help me um as i was uh, i'm sure in my mind i'll be like well i've done what i could or i have done i have written what i could I have, i'm leaving the rest to god you know i was just like god will help me i'll just do the little i could or little i was i don't know the little i could and i'll just say god will help me but to my shocking, I don't know why I was shocked actually. <laughs> Maybe because I was expecting God to help me. How? I don't know. To my shock, when the first semester results came out, I had, um, I was even lucky, right? I was lucky. So I had about two carryovers. I had two carryovers. Two carryovers. And imagine going home to my parents that I knew that they had to, you know, ha they had to gather. You know this one all this money together in fact they have to gather my school fees practically gather my school fees to send me to school how do i go to tell them that for whatever reason it's not like they gave me work to do i'm not one of those students that their parents were i, I would be expecting that she will send them something or something 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 i was not one of those students so what would i go and tell my parents that i was actually doing in school that did not make me make the results i mean that had made me hard carryover I was shocked and um, I think that first semester 
I was still like, uh, maybe I did not pray enough. Maybe I didn't pray enough, or maybe I didn't attend. <laughs> I don't you know. Maybe I didn't go for enough um, Christian programs at all. And the second semester, I think I still did, you know, some of those things I was doing in under level, and I still had I had one carryover in um, second semester. So imagine as an under level student going to Tony level. I was going into the new semester, the new session with three carryovers, three. And I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got that. I don't know what happened, but I knew that along the along the line, just as I um, resumed into Tony level, I knew that something had to change. And what had to change was something that I had to go beyond praying that God should help me to so actually doing some of the things I'm supposed to do. You know, there are some, there's, there's a place of asking God for help and there's also a place of um, taking actions. There's a place for, you know, doing, doing, getting things done. So um, this is my illustration. For example, you are praying to God for a job and and you are praying to God, you are all, always, you know, at every prayer, you are there shouting your amens, you are there and um, you never send your CVs out. That was, this is liking to what I did. I was praying to God to help me pass my exams, but I wasn't praying, I wasn't reading. I was praying to God to help me have A's, imagine, A's, who I wanted to graduate with first class. <laughs> I wanted to graduate in first class, but yeah, am I not studying? So it's also like to you praying to God for you know a job and you are not sending out your CVs. You are praying to God to enlarge your business and you are not you know opportunities are coming. You are not you are not taking the opportunities. All the thing, everything you are doing is just praying. You are not even praying to God to lead you to which opportunities to take. The only prayer you are praying is practically saying, God help me. And when um, the consequence of us just saying that prayer lands on us, we feel that God has not answered our prayers. Actually, sometimes when we say those prayers, when we all, oh, it's not those, when we say that particular prayer, even we ourselves, sometimes we are not sure of what we want God to do for us. Okay, so for example, when I was in school and I was praying that God should help me, should, it should help me with what, what exactly, because what I remember him saying about um, something I could relate to, um, um, being in school and grad and getting good graces, he said the Holy Spirit will remind you all things. Remind, remind, remind. It is. It is not that it is in the exam or that the only. For uh, of course, he has given me lectures to teach me what I needed to know already. So, my own part was to read. Then the Holy Spirit remind me in my examination hall. But I wasn't doing that. My part of studying for the Holy Spirit to remind me. The Holy Spirit to remind me what I've read. So um, we do that a lot of times. Sometimes people even ask you, maybe what, what should we do about this thing? Something you should um, maybe brainstorm and bring out ideas. God has given us, you know, I, I think I remember um, one of um, Pastor Sam Adeyemi's um, tweets was about the fact that the fact that we are Christians does not mean that our brains should um, stop working. God gave us a brain for a reason. Yeah, he gave us a brain for a reason. And he knows the function of a brain. So sometimes as Christians, what we do is just pray, God help me. But there are some things we should do. We are deliberately leaving out those things. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I actually don't know why we do that. But we do that to ourselves and um, we set ourselves up for disappointment. Because the fact is there are some things we should do that God will not come down to do for us. God will not come down to ask that lady out for you. I don't know why I keep talking about asking <laughs> <laughs> about relationship and all but there are some steps we should take when we ask God for okay please bless me on this particular thing he expects us to take some steps he expects us to do some things so I can't I can't come to God and say God please help me about my YouTube channel and I'm not um, recording videos it's giving me topics I'm not doing anything about them so what should I what do I want him to help me with so I can't say God should help me get a promotion at my workplace. I know my workplace, I need um, maybe a more um, certifications. I know I'm not going for more certifications. I'm just saying, God, please help me. I want to be promoted. I am there praying and, you know, exerting a lot of energy, praying that God should help me. God should help me. God, help me. God, help me. I am not doing what you're supposed to do. So at these times, we actually, you know, we actually, like, now bring God to, you know, look like a bad 
God. <laughs> but actually, we are the ones that are not doing what we are expected to do. What we should do, the basic of things. Take actions and let this prayer, let that prayer you have prayed, you know, maybe multiply the action. Imagine if, um, you know, in those, um, in, in the Bible times when Jesus asked about, so um, who has, what, can, what do you have? When he wanted to feed the 5,000. And he just, imagine he just prayed, God, help me. And he didn't, you know, the disciples actually had to, the, the disciples actually had to go through, okay, to check who has something, who has something, who has food. So imagine they just prayed, God, help us. And they didn't go out to look, to search for who has food, who has those five loaves of bread and two fishes. So what will have happened? God, help me. God would have just been, God would have been looking at, you know, Jesus, though Jesus Christ is his beloved son, he would have been looking at Jesus Christ like this. Like, what do you want me to do? So, sometimes when we pray, we need to also take actions. You know, that my prayer at that time always, that my prayer at that time almost landed me, you know, I don't know. If I had continued that way, if I had not um, gotten to a point of realization and decided that, okay, there is a place of, and I don't know, I, I'm not sure where that, where that, um, my, that point of realization came, but I discovered that I, I got to a point when I knew, okay, now I need to, you know, do my part and allow God do his part. And I assure you, I can tell you for sure that, you know, for somebody that started off with, I, I think I started off with um, two point something as my <laughs> CGP, <laughs> two point something as my CGP and, and, and it was, I don't know. And thank God at that time, I could tell my mom, my mom asked about my results and I said, it was fine. <laughs> Now she knows better. My younger ones, she will ask them. No, I, I don't want to just. I don't want to just. Yeah, it is fine. I want to see the result like this. Like maybe you know that. Well, in my not in my undergrad days, undergrad days, not in my undergrad days, we are not. We are not given the result like first semester. I don't know what applies now. But she, I'm, I'm sure now she will ask my my siblings to snap it on the on the notice board. Snap it. I want to see it. So if she had also said that she's not very result, then I don't know what, but I, I was just able to tell her it was fine and that was it. And thank God for my second year, when I got that realization that there's a part I need to play while I'm praying, there's also the part of God. I, I, I thank God because I was able to get that realization and retrace my steps to know that I need to study. I need to, that, when I pray, I need to also take action. There are some things I need to do to also, you know, I'm not, it's not like I'm helping God to answer the prayers, but it's best, it is just the basic thing. And Christians also do this a lot of times when you say, ah, what can we do about this thing? Or, ah, please, I'm looking for a work, or, or please, I need this thing. Or, and what we say is God will help us. The, the God will help us, we say nowadays, is liking to... You know that scripture that talks about um, maybe somebody comes to you to say, I am hungry, and you say, go in peace. That is the context we are using, God will help us now. We say go in peace. Somebody says, ah, I need something now. You say God will help us. And the bad thing about the way we say God will help us is, as we are saying, as that word is dropping from our, well, we have already passed the responsibility to God to help us. As that word is dropping from our mouth, even if there is an opportunity to help that person, because of course you have, you have told God to help us, you are not actively thinking about how to help that person. You are not actively... Um, looking out for opportunities that will help the person. You have given it. You have given the responsibility to God, and it's the one that should handle the whole thing. So, I don't know who this is for. I don't know in whichever way you have been bastardizing that prayer point. God help me. I want you to change today. I want you to take um, a step back and think about you know just look at it. That prayer, as as powerful as God help us is, it has also you know, box some people, it has also been um, like a trap to a lot of people because for a lot of us, the moment we say, God help us, we, you know, put ourselves in a box. We don't, um, we don't think of what the next thing to do is because we have passed the responsibility to God. So I want you to repent, you know, let's learn to say that prayer correctly as from today, you know, when you say God should help you. Also, even if you don't know the next, the action to take, then ask him. This prayer I've prayed, what's, what should I do about it? What do you want me to do? Because the fact is, 
there's something you need to do there's a part you need to play there's something you, you should do that god helping you will not come down to do it for you so thank you for watching my video i hope um you learned something i hope you got something i hope i've not offended you <laughs> so the next time you say god will help me say it correctly thank you for being here until we see in the next video have a beautiful life bye it's me again remember to click on the subscribe button just somewhere around here thank you bye